we've been doing a lot of stories on PETA over the years. This, you know, things will come up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand. What's your position on pet ownership? Um, I think that it's fabulous if you have the time, the patience, the love, and can go to the shelter and rescue not one but two, so they can keep each other company when you're at work or at school. But don't go to the pet shop. Don't go to the breeder, because we have this hideous overpopulation crisis. Not enough good homes, too many animals, and lots of them have to be killed. Now, you have Peter shelters that euthanize lots of animals. Yes, we do. Now, I suspect that that's a real problem with your philosophy because you're killing lots of animals. Oh, it's hideous. I mean, you know, we're the people who we don't kill for food, we don't kill for clothing, you name it, we don't. And yet we are in a very rural, poor uh, area of Virginia and the border of North Carolina, and we offer free euthanasia services for anyone who has a broken or aged or injured animal and no money for veterinary care. But you don't just... It's not just broken or aged animals that you guys euthanize. You have lots of animals that, that go in that get euthanized that, because of population, right? Um, actually, for us, we are usually picking up the worst of the worst, the unsocialized, the ones who've been on a chain out in the weather for their whole lives. They're not even able to think about going into a home. Nobody wants them. So, yes, in one way, it would be great. Every broken animal, it would be lovely if there was someone who said, yes, I'll put the time and effort. There, there are wonderful, cute be small ones that you can't find homes for. But we don't take in adoptable animals usually uh, unless we have to. We uh, let them go to the shelters where people come through and can choose. Do you euthanize those pets, those ones, the adoptable ones, if you get them? If we get them and we can't find a home, absolutely. It's the dilemma. That's why I'm so against breeding and why I say to everybody, spay and neuter and don't go to the pet shop, go to the pound. Isn't Save that, lives, but, don't take them. But spaying and neutering is determining in animals if they're equals you shouldn't be the ones determining their I think, life well it's i think it's more commonsensical it's that you can't in this concrete jungle you can't just turn them out on the street and what's the option for them we've already got more than we can find homes for they're being killed in the shelters so let's control the population and frankly i mean before birth control came along People thought they had to have as many children as they, <laughs> as their bodies could stand. It was a godsend for women to have birth control come along, and I think it's a godsend for the animals given the crisis. Certainly, I've heard you say you're 